Hi, this is Dawn of StampTellDawn.com and I'm going to show you a fun little card using the September 2017 Stamp of the Month, which is called Feel So Blessed. And you can see it has a feather and thanks, it says thanks for everything, thankful, grateful for this. Uh, there are so many beautiful reasons to be thankful with gratitude. And then it has these little um, leaf sprigs here and some numbers. So today I'm just going to be using the feather and the word thanks and then this border down here. So first thing you do is use my memento stamp pad. I stamped the feathers. I like using this because it doesn't uh, smear or fade when I'm using my shin hand markers. And then I'm going to color a couple of the feathers using uh, let's see GY235, which is sap green and clay. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell you what the number is. Um, but this is the clay one. And so one thing, one tip I like to give people when they're using the markers is that if you push the marker down, it like spreads out a lot. But if you just use a light little touch, you can get a much smaller area. So what I do when I'm coloring out in leaves or something like this, then I just kind of gently outline using a light touch the area that I want to color in. Also on these leaves, it does have little strips and stripes on it. And they're just so tiny that it is hard to do different colors in it without going outside the lines and making it look messy. So I've found that for me, it's easier just to keep them all one color. So I'll go through and outline the whole thing and then color it in. And one thing I like about the Shen hand markers is it doesn't show the brush strokes. So once it dries, it's going to be a nice smooth image. And then after it dries, you can also go back in and go over some of the lines a couple times to get them to look darker. So I've already colored in my leaves and I cut them out. So here's a few of them. This is with the clay and then this is with the uh, sap green here. Okay. So next thing I'm going to do is prepare the background for my card. So I've got the pieces of the card sitting out here. I'm using a three and three quarters by five inch white piece. And then my mat is four by five and a quarter. And my card base is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'll move these out of the way. I also have a piece of lace and a little piece of jute that I've tied here for the card. So I have the border stamp and it's plenty long to go on the entire length of this card, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I'm gonna use the toffee ink pad and you can see the ink pad is shorter than the stamp. So in order to ink the whole thing, I would have to stamp, stamp, stamp all along the edge, but I'm going to just put it right here in the middle and just ink the middle part of the stamp here, just an up and down tapping motion. And I'm going to stamp it right on my card. And then I'm going to lift it up and stamp it again. You might not see that on the camera, but it does leave like a little ghosting of a image. And I'm going to stamp this a few times, kind of varying the length of it and where I start it and the angle just to kind of get a little background here. Now I could make my um, inked part shorter if I went this way across the stamp pad, but I'm going to do lengthwise for this particular card. You can see I'm not being real careful. I just want a kind of a mishmash background there. So I'll go ahead and I will um, glue my lace onto this card now. I'm going to use my liquid glass. Here's my liquid glass. And I'm just going to put it a tiny bit on the little bulb parts here on the lace. And this doesn't really have a right side or a wrong side. So you can just pick which side that you prefer to have showing. And I was doing this earlier and I obviously didn't clog it. So I always keep a pin right here on my liquid glass so I can open it if it gets dried out. There we go. So just put a tiny, tiny bit on each of these things um, because you don't want it to spread when you put it on your card. I'm just doing a little tiny bit. And 
And to make sure I get this placed right, I'm gonna actually stamp my thanks first. So let me move the toffee pad out of the way. And this is the fern pad. This is one of our old style ones. I haven't replaced it yet with a new one. So that's why it opens up a little bit different. I'm gonna ink up my thanks stamp and stamp it right here on the bottom of the card. And now that I know where that's at, I can place my lace just above that. And you'll notice I cut it a little long. I did that on purpose. So that way I make sure it covers my card and then I can go back in with scissors and cut it. So I can trim it now to match my card. And then I'll go ahead and put some tape runner on the back of this and put it on the mat. As I said, I've already um, cut some leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this first leaf on here. Because it's on the lace, I, I need something behind it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of foam tape behind it to help it to lay flat on there. So we got our leaf there. And then I'll do another one. And I'm gonna just ro move this down a little bit. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of tape runner on the edge of the sleeve. And then my third one, I want it to be even lower, but then it brings my stem way down here. So I'm just gonna cut this leaf a little bit. And put it right on there. So put a little tape runner on there. And then I've got my little bow here. Again, I'll put some little liquid glass on it. Put that right there, it kind of hides the mechanics. You can't really tell that I cut that leaf once it's on there. And I probably should have put my mat on there first. I'll let it dry before I put glue on the back of it. And then there's the finished card. So here's another version of it where I did two of the clay leaves and one green one. So you can see the difference between those two, not much of a difference. And then here's a couple other cards I made with it. Same color scheme. I think this is the nutmeg ink here. And then here's one more. So I hope you've enjoyed my ideas that I've shared with you using the September 2017 Stamp of the Month, Feel So Blessed. If you want to order yours during that time period, it's available until September 30th, 2017. And you can order it at stamptilldawn.ctmh.com.